Two years ago, the government partnered with Joint Stock Company Global Security to introduce digital number plates. The initiative aimed to facilitate the easy identification of vehicles used by criminals, allowing security agencies to respond quickly and effectively. NTV has today visited the production and installation facility for the digital number plates located in Kawempe. The facility is equipped with hot stamping machines, four embossing machines and hot stamping materials with integrated security features. The facility also houses a monitoring command and control center with advanced systems designed for detecting traffic violations, monitoring vehicles, recognizing number plates and using face recognition with surveillance cameras. According to Galina Valova, the communications officer of the Intelligent Transport Management System, the facility is currently producing an average of 5,000 number plates per day, each embedded with security components. Right here, behind my back, there is one of the production areas where the plates are produced and uh, just wanted to tell that this factory is able to produce up to 5,000 sets of number plates per day. For now, uh, we are doing less, but it depends only on the necessity and on demands. So far, 2,000 number plates have been rolled out primarily for government vehicles. The distribution of the number plates to the public will begin on November 1st, with eight carbons already engaged to start the distribution process. Installation centers will also be established at border points to facilitate vehicle registration. We would have two major, build, uh, major installation centers, registration slash installation centers at the border points. It is Malaba and Mutukula. These uh, centers are already built and they actually they need only furniture to be installed there to start operations. As of now, a few government vehicles have digital number plates. However, we look forward to a time when all motor vehicles and motorcycles will have digital number plates whose agenda is to enhance security. David Ijo, NTV Tonight.